Okay, in this video, I want to do uh, inequalities. It's the same, it's solving inequalities now. So, an inequality, kind of mean make review a little bit. An inequality is a greater than sign, a less than sign, a greater than or equal to sign, or a less than or equal to sign. Remember that the, you know, you're, when you were kids, your teacher would teach you the alligator eats the bigger number, okay? And so the alligator was rare, there's his teeth, there's his eye, you know. Basically, there's the alligator, okay? And so the alligator would always eat the bigger number, right? That's what we were taught in elementary school. Inequality. All right? And so we're going to use these. Now, <clears throat> there is one special rule here that whenever you multiply slash divide a negative away from the variable variable you flip the inequality okay so we're going to flip it if we multiply by a uh, with the multiplier dividing a negative away from a variable. Okay, not add and subtracting, multiply and divide. So we're going to do the same thing we've been doing before. We're going to look at PEMDAS again. All right, remember we have a variable here. There it is right there. So because we have a variable, we're going to think sad myth backwards. So in algebra, we go backwards when we have that. All right, so I asked myself, what's my variable? X. What's being done to X? It's being multiplied by 3, and it's being added by 4. All right, so I'm going to erase this little arrow here so you can see it. It's being added by 4. Okay, so remember we go back, we go in the opposite direction, so we're going this way. And so I'm going to subtract 4 to both sides. This becomes my zero pair. I can bring down my 3x is greater than or equal to. Remember that's a little section right here. This is a little section you got to watch out for. Are the signs the same or different? They're the same, so you add. So it's negative 9. Now I'm going to divide. I'm going to still go up this little ladder. I'm going to multiply. So x is being multiplied by 3. So the opposite of multiply by 3 is divide by 3. All right, so I'm going to divide both sides by 3. Now, notice I'm dividing 3, but it's not a negative. You know, we're not dividing a negative away from the variable. Otherwise, x is not negative. It's, it's positive. So we're going to keep this the same. We're not, going to, we're not going to move this. So x is going to be greater than or equal to negative 3. That means any number, if I have a number line, let's say this is negative 3, this is negative 4, this is negative 2, negative 1, 0. All right. Now, if we were told to graph this, our circle is open when there's it's open. It's called an open symbol, and when there's no equal to sign, when there is an equal to sign, we color in. It's it's closed, called closed. This one is closed because there's an equal to sign. That means we include that number. So if I put a 3 in there, would this statement be true? I mean, a negative 3, would this statement be true? Is negative 3 greater or equal to negative 3? Well, it's not greater, but it is equal to, so then we would say it is included. So we would put a circle here. I'm going to put a circle there. I can move it to right. There's our circle. And then we would draw an arrow in the direction that makes it true. Now, if you notice, if you put your variable on the left side and your number on the right side, the arrow is telling you which way to go. So you could go this way. All you're doing is pick a number greater than negative 3. Well, what's greater than negative 3? 3. Which direction does 3 go into? To the right. So we know we're going to the right. That means any point that we pick on this number line will make this statement true, like negative 2. Is negative 2 greater than negative 3? Yes. Is 1, negative 1, Greater than negative 3? Yes. Yeah. Is 0 greater than negative 3? Yes. So all those will work for that. Okay, so here's uh, the same problem that we had before. We had an equal sign. This time we're just going to put a inequality here. And it doesn't matter which one. We're just using this as an example. 
All right, so I'm going to put that in equality there. It's a less than symbol. All right, so again, we talked about making sure you understand what is positive and what's negative here. You always take the sign in front of the number. So this 7 is not negative. It's positive 7. Since you don't see a sign in front of it, it's positive. And we discussed this before that the subtract sign, if I remove the 7, it's really negative 6x. It's the same thing. It's just the way we look at it and how it's positioned. All right, so I'm put 7 here. And I'm going to go ahead and put a positive here just so that it satisfies our... All right. Again, PEMDAS backwards. Remember, algebra go this way. All right, I'm looking at my variable. My variable is uh, being multiplied by negative 6, so I'm going to say multiplied by negative 6. And then my it's being added by 7. All right, so I'm going to do the opposite going this way. So instead of plus 7, I'm going to subtract 7 to both sides. This becomes a zero pair. Remember, it's when the numbers are the same, and but they're opposite. I'm going to bring down my negative 6x, my less than symbol. And now the 12 is positive, the 7 is negative, so they're different. So that means I'm going to subtract them, and that should give me a positive 5. Now, this is what we're talking about. We talked about this earlier. We, when we're doing inequalities, we've got to look at our, our uh, sign here, okay, our variable. Our variable is being multiplied by negative 6. So the opposite of multiply by negative 6 is divide both sides by negative 6. Now, this is that special situation. Whenever I'm multiplying or dividing a negative number away from the variable, which I am here, because when I divide both sides by negative 6, the negative 6 with the x becomes a positive 1. All right, so this becomes a positive 1, and 1 times x is x. Now this causes this guy to flip. So in the inequality, instead of being a, um, a less than symbol, now it's going to be a greater than symbol. All right, And the number on the other side is still going to be negative Five over six. In this case, if we were to graph this just for fun, we'd say this is negative one, this is zero, this is one, and then our inequality is not equal to, so it's just a circle. It's an open circle, so we're gonna just put an open circle here, and and it's at five six, which is you know pretty close to one. So we're gonna estimate it right there. We want numbers greater than negative 5, 6, which are positive numbers, so we go that direction there. This means we can't include negative 5, 6, but we can include everything to the right of it. And this is how you do one with an inequality where you have to flip it. Don't forget, you flip only when you're multiplying or dividing uh, from a, neg a negative away from the variable.